Hello and welcome my Thunder Sharks. How you doing on this wonderful day? It's Super John Bombo here from the Swampy Depths. Blunarius the Inflator Awakens. Now we had a pretty easy time with normal. It was a little bit difficult. We could do it without any instant monkeys or anything like that. Now for the elite version, this is going to be much, much, much more difficult. But if we use every single skill, every single advantage that we have, hopefully we can pull this off. Now, I want to be straight with you guys and, I've, and say that I've already practiced. I played up to tier 3, and I actually lost on my tier 4. So we've got to work our way up and do an even better job than we did last time. Let's try this guy out. So to start you off with a base strategy, the, what you want to do is probably get a Benjamin, alright? I've thought about getting other heroes in here, like a Pat or uh, something else that can kind of power up your other towers, maybe a Gwendolyn or something like that, but it just didn't seem like it made enough difference. Instead, all we want to do is make that money so we can get those really powerful towers pretty much as fast as we possibly can. So that's the plan, guys. We want to get a Ben, and we want to get him quick. We're just going to throw him down in the corner down here, just let him do his job, I guess. Benjamin. Next thing you want to do is farm, and you're going to farm. Let me tell you guys, you're going to farm hard here. Okay, like as hard as you could possibly ever imagine farming, you're going to do it. Also, keep in mind that lives don't truly matter, so feel free to lose some lives here and there. It's not a big deal. Um, just farm like your life depends on it. But you also want to make sure that you're popping as many balloons as possible while farming, because if you lose too many lives, then you're kind of wasting your money anyways, because you're not getting that money from actually popping the balloons here. So it's a bit of a... It's a bit of a mixed bag on how you end up doing it here. Alright, so we lost some lives here for sure, but I was able to farm up to four farms already before round 20, which is pretty awesome. We're going to go for more tax and even more tax at this point, just kind of get a pretty consistent base for our defense right now. Um, hoping that that tax shooter can kind of keep us in the game here. Uh, one thing that I'm going to do, which I don't know if you guys want to do, is just to be lazy, I'm going to go for my banana farmer, and we're going to throw him uh, right here for now. All right, he might not absorb all the bananas, but you're going to see why in just a second here, why I'm putting him right there. And then we're going to still continue to farm as hard as we possibly can. All right, guys, we got one level into the boss balloon, the first tier Blunarius Elite version. We got $14,000 saved up, but that's not going to be enough for what we need to do here. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to sell a banana farm, even though it seems a little bit inefficient. We're still going to wait like a quick second here while we gather just a little bit of money. I'm going to sell him, and we're going to go for a very, very strong have to. This is my favorite tower for Ludarius, the Tax Zone. In addition, we are going to be powering him up, so we're going to get both a village and an alchemist. But I'm going to start off with the alchemist here, guys. At least a Berserker Brew for now. Let's power him up and see what we can do here. And kind of watch that health just drain from this guy. Uh, you know what? I changed my mind. We're not going to go for the village just yet. We're just going to try and survive, and I'm going to already start to farm again. We're going to hope that this is going to be enough for us with the wall of fire and everything combined together. Will it be enough here? It's a close battle. All right, we're losing some lives. we got to do something about that. We're going to go for a quick low-level boomerang here in addition. Just a glaive ricochet. Just something to keep, uh, keep these ceramics down to a... A smidge lower than they currently are because we're getting a lot of these balloons coming out here. But things are going pretty well. We are draining this guy pretty quickly. Round 41, he's already almost dead. Um, a few more balloons trying to sink through. Honestly, lives do not matter. Unless you lose 150, then they start to matter because then you lose the game. And nobody likes that. Nobody likes losing the game here. All right, we're losing some lives. Now to 67 lives already. The last set of blitter air. Okay, we got to go for this guy. We've got to go for him. It's just got to be done. It's not exciting. We're down to 42 lives at this point. And what I'm going to do is, right when this is over, we're going to pause for one second. I'm going to talk to you guys about strategy. So right now, we're on round 43. We've got 17 more rounds to farm. Now, keep in mind that right now, our defense is absolutely ridiculously overkill. So I do not want to keep it. Instead, we're going to go for two towers here uh, that I think are just going to keep. One tower here? That might just keep us in the game here. We're going to sell the tax zone. We're going to get a... Uh, banana research facility. We're going to sell this guy, and we're going to go for an unpopped army, and hope that that unpopped army is going to keep us in the game here while we continue to farm. Now, in addition, I don't know if you guys noticed this or not, but before, I did decide to buy the Monkey Commerce to make some of my banana farms a little bit cheaper. So, uh, we're going to be planning for a bottom-tier banana farm fiesta. No, a top-tier banana farm fiesta when we finally get our bottom-path village going to the extreme. 
All right, guys, we've got <clears throat> two more rounds until Blunaria starts here. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven banana farms we're able to spam out here by round 58. And now it's about to get intense. So let's get our strategies basically the exact same way that we set it up before. But, of course, we're going to need it to be stronger. So we're going to get Attack Shooter down to bottom path here, Overdrive with faster shooting. We're going to Alchemize him, of course. We're going to Alchemize him to fourth tier. I'm also going to get a village going over here so I can power up these guys as much as I possibly can. And we're going to hope that that is going to kind of be the base for us. And then the last tower that I'm going to add in here is I'm going to add in a balloon solver. So I'm going to put him at the very, very back back here. And we're going to upgrade him kind of last here. We want to get that right when we need it. Not right now because we don't need it just yet. The first thing we want to focus on is definitely getting that tax zone, which is $20,000 here. So uh, we are playing it close, but that's okay. Here we go. Tax zone right at the very last second. We're going to get our Alchemist going next because we want to power this guy up the most. He's going, to be the do he's going to be doing the brute force of our power here on the stronger steam with Perishing Potions. And we're going to end up getting this top path Blue Gunner here. You're going to watch this health. It's still 300,000. Do not underestimate 300,000 health. We're going from 50k all up to 300k just like that. That is not non-existent monies right here, my friends. Talking about big motors. And you notice the tax on by himself is just not going to do this all by himself here, so we're going to have to add some other towers in here to make sure this is all going to go down properly. But the first thing I want to get is definitely this balloon solver. $22,000 just for this last upgrade, though, so we got to be careful here. Hoping I get it before this first set of balloons pops out, because it's going to be a big chunk of BF Bizzles. In addition, we're going to go for this stronger glue over here. I'm going to see if this is going to basically be enough here to kind of stop these guys in their tracks. Looking good. Now, we want to get something else that can pop some Moab do some bad damage here, so um, deciding what to get is actually pretty tricky, but we're going to do something a little bit weird here, because I do want to make sure that I get that damage, so we're going to go for an extra uh, middle path Moab Eliminator over here. Now you're going to notice these balloons are getting to the very end here, so we cannot rely on just this balloon solver alone. We're going to have to get something else. So we're going to go for an extra cannon. One, two, three, four. We're going to go for a recursive cluster with missile launcher here, and hopefully that'll help deal with these balloons just a little bit better. Now, he is getting damaged pretty heavily, but I want to get back to farming as soon as I possibly can. So we want to take this guy down, of course, as fast as we possibly can. So I'm going to get this primary mentoring upgrade over here and uh, hope that that's just going to kind of be enough for me for now. I also want to get that mobile eliminator if I can. If I don't need it, though, I'm just going to go for it. No matter what the cost is, I'm going to go for it, and I'm just going to start spamming that ability. But for now, I've got the assassin. Let's use it up. All right, the second big rush of BFPs is coming out against us right now. Um, this cannon is helping out quite a bit. Solver, though, able to work it out. All right, beautiful. We've got the money for the mobile limiter. We're going to go for the mobile limiter, and then we're going to start spamming more banana farms, guys. we got to make that cash flow. We're going to go for some central markets for now. Oh, yeah, look at that damage. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. I mean, he is about, he's about halfway through the map at this point. So, I mean, we got to be a little bit careful here, but overall things, get, like I said, are going pretty gosh darn smooth. So uh, what I want to do is I want to get my monkey town here and my monkey city because that's going to start making us some extra cash. Got to be careful of these balloons. I'm not sure if these balloons are going to be any problems for us. If we have to, we have to build more stuff. That's just the way it is, guys. All right, officially halfway dead. I'm feeling pretty good at this point. Uh, I'm still going to end up buying more banana farms, though, and we're going to get ready to buy our Monkeyopolis pretty soon in here. I know, I'm kind of excited to get that Monkeyopolis, guys. I, like, never go for that guy. But it's a way to get as many banana farms on the map without taking a bunch of the screen with all your other crap as you can. All right, lots of zebras coming out. All right, one more big rush of BFBs right here. You can tell that mobile limiter, it's not, like, the most crazy amount of damage ever, but it is a pretty significant amount of damage. Uh, Two-thirds dead at this point. And not quite two-thirds through the map yet, so I'm pretty confident that we're going to take those guys down. Beautiful. All right. Let's go to the central market and get our long-life bananas here. 66, though, so you got to watch out because, you know what? He's already going to come out on round 80 for this next level here. We're going to have to make some freaking plays to make that happen, guys. It's going to be pretty wild. All right. One quarter of his health left. Going very well so far. I'm just going to use Ben's ability. Why? Because it's kind of fun. See if it does anything for us. All right, looking good. We're going to go for another... I don't know if I could fit any more in the range here, but we'll try. I'm not sure if this is actually doing anything, but there's no point not trying. Um, it's pretty close already. So uh, let's keep on spending that money, though. 
All right, one more mobile limb for our last set of BFBs coming out here against us. And this guy should get taken down pretty quickly. Bloon Solver, though, does have to glue a lot of balloons. All right, Cannon, work together here. Come on. Yes, we do take him down, and level two will be defeated. So now, again, you want to pause and think about what heck you want to do here. All right. So we're on round 69. We've got 10 more rounds to go. What I want to do is obviously want to get as many farms as I possibly can. And the way I want to do it is I want to get my village upgraded here. So we're going to go for a bottom path village up to Monkeyopolis. Now, there are ways to increase the range and stuff like that if you want to be crazy, but I'm just going to grab whatever I can. I feel pretty good about that. Not horrible. And, uh, let's see. What are we making here? How much money are we making? 2,600. Okay, so not great. Not great, but not terrible. And then we're going to start upgrading whatever farms we can just to make that extra cash. All right, guys. One more round until the boss balloon starts coming out. And now we're going to have to start making some delicious, delicious plays here. Check this action out. So what I've got right now is I've got some kind of weird towers that might not seem like they make very much sense here. But there's a rhyme and a reason to my ridiculousness. Uh, what we're going to do is we are going to get $50,000 invested in our magic monkeys. I did the Prince of Darkness and the Super Monkey. Uh, so an avatar here. Uh, I've got $50,000 for the primary monkeys with my Super Maelstrom, Dart Monkey, and Tack Shooter. I think I overkilled them all by a little bit too much here, but I'd rather play it safe than sorry. I don't want to lose on round 120 because I was an idiot and just missed out on $5,000 of stupid Tack Shooters. And then I'm also going to go for my Blue Incineration down here. Which, again, if you add it up, it's 40 plus 50 plus 11, which is 51,000, plus the previous upgrade. So a little bit of overkill there, but that seems to work out pretty well. Then what I want to do is I want to get my Sun Temple, and I got to get this guy pretty quick, even if it means I got to start selling farms and things like that. All right, I'm going to try to see how long I can last here before I sell at least maybe... I don't know. The max I want to sell is like two farms or something like that. I think that's about about where I want to go. Uh, but if I just have to survive one or two rounds, I should be okay with that because then I'm going to start getting my mad going, and I think that's going to be doing a bunch of extra damage to these balloons. The only issue is, is that the further you let it get in the map here, the harder it is to start popping the things after they start getting going. So don't forget about that. But I think once we get the money from round 81 or so, we should be good. Hopefully. All right, money from 81... We're almost there. Sun templeify me. Let's go. Do it, baby. So now what we're going to do is we're going to power this guy up in just a small smidge of a way. We're going to get a village. We're going to go for jungle drums. We're going to get the radar scanner there just so we make sure we have that. I'm also going to go for my alchemist over here. It's going to be a pretty low level alchemist. Just a fourth tier for now. But that's going to help us out a lot. In addition, I'm going to go for a mad over here. And I think... Oh. A mad over here. I super monkeys and mads are pretty similar, huh? All right, we're going to go for a mad over here. We're about 100k down. That's 1 20th of its health, but it's easily more than 1 20th through the map at this point. So we still are going to have to play it by ear. I'm hoping I don't have to sell any farms to make this happen, though. That's my goal. Uh, and now that we have our temple going, though, it is going to start going down pretty quickly. But I have to start doing weird things like overclocking it and doing kind of crazy stuff to make sure that this is actually going to go down the way I want it to go down. Plus, tier 3. Get, don't get me wrong. It do, it seems pretty freaking wild here, but Tier 3 is already going to start having bad balloons pop out against us. Absolute insanity, my friends. All right, we're going to go for the Super Range and the Epic Range here for our temple. We're just going to get it down, get it going in here. Uh, and we're about to hit our first set of bad balloons popping out against us. How absolutely disgustingly upsetting. All right, and DDTs. Did I mention that? DDTs popping out already. Yeah, that's pretty freaking wild. The next thing we want to do is we for sure want to start overclocking our towers. So we're going to do a double overclock for now. We're going to get one overclock here, one overclock there. Sometimes I have to take a break and I have to think about what I want to do, guys. And that's okay. Don't feel bad about pressing the settings button and taking a quick chill pill and thinking about what you want to do. And don't feel bad about looking through the towers to think about what the best tower for your situation is. There's a lot of towers on this game. There's a, it's a very hard decision on figuring out what you want to get over here. But you gotta think about it before you just jump in and do something stupid that you're gonna regret later. So right now I've gotta get uh, an extra carpet of spikes down here. Spike storm, bigger stacks and, and uh, spikes here. And we're gonna start overclocking our temple and our mad. Now, we have a pretty significant amount of money right now, but don't forget that we actually have to pop this guy uh, pretty quickly. I mean, we've only got 16 more rounds to pop this guy or else we lose. Isn't that pretty upsetting? We just straight up lose. Yeah, if you go more than 20 rounds without the, the balloon popping, 
you just straight up lose. There's nothing you can do about it. It's just game over. GG. See you later. And it sucks. Next thing I'm going to do is I am going to get a homeland defense here so everybody that I am powering up is going to be super powered up. All right. So now I'm also going to get my ultra boost going. So this is going to power up my temple for the rest of the game. In addition, I am going to go for my perma brew over here, which should hopefully, hopefully, if all it goes according to plan, uh, power my guys up even further. All right. We got that perma brew there. All right. That's going to help us out a lot. We're going to use this ability a little early, actually. Or to do that is an addition, and you can tell that damage is actually flowing out right there. That is nice. All right, Ultra Boost this puppy again. Bad balloons all over the screen here. We're about halfway done here. And I'm feeling pretty good now, though. Uh, but don't forget that he's Tier 5 is going to come out in pretty much no time. Here we go. Another Ultra Boosting or Overclocking uh, mad ability over here. Why wow, the DDT's popping out over there, man? What did I do? That seems like it's cheating. He just, like, threw him out in front of him. He's like, hey, yeah, dude, I just feel like it. Yeah, see you later. All right, here we go. Another ability. Throwing it out here. And we are starting to drain this guy. Finally. We got $180,000, so it's not like we have no money at this point. We have money to play around with. But don't forget, it's a large investment to get ready to do the next thing we want to do here. Which, of course, my friends, is going to be that vengeful temple. So, at this point, what you want to do is you want to start investing in towers. That are going to be outside of the range of your temple. All right. Now, this is where it gets a little bit tricky because I already upgraded the range of my temple here. All right. There we go. Every single ability that we got. Down to 640,000. I'm going to go for an anti-balloon. Um, we're actually just going to throw him all the way in the corner here, even though it means I have to sell a farm. That is outside of the range for sure. We're going to go for our anti-balloon over here. And it doesn't really matter if we get the upgrades. But we're going to just get him just to get him. And then we're going to go for our other tower, even though I have to sell again. I'm going to go for a Legend of the Night in the very corner down here. I'm feeling pretty confident that we're going to take these guys down. But it's always good to just have these guys ready to go. All right. So we're going to Ultra Boost. Hopefully that's our Mad right there. That's not our Mad. That's our Mad. We're going to Ultra Boost that guy. And we're going to go with this. And we're going to press uh, that ability as well. Uh, that ability as well. And see if we can do that final little bit of damage right there. All right, the last set of badges coming out right now. Looking good. There's no way we're going to lose on tier just three. <laughs> we can make it further than that. All right, actually, the Blunarius is about to go down, but we've only got seven more rounds to work with here, which is kind of the major issue with what we've got going on. All right, 50,000, 40,000, and we will take this guy down. All right, absolutely beautiful here. So now, again, don't feel bad if you got to take a quick chill pill. Think about what you want to do and how you want to do this stuff. Because right now, I actually have a little bit of an issue. I did something sort of silly, and that's okay. You can do silly things, and you can figure out what you're going to do with it. We're going to build a random heli pallet over here. We're just going to get a support chunk, and we're going to move some of my towers around. What I want to do is I want to move my perma brew. I want to move my ultra boost so I don't have to sell these guys uh, instead of the temple just absorbing them and stealing them. So at this point, you can also think about selling things that you don't need. If you really want to sell things like maybe your Overclock that you're not using anymore, feel free to sell him. Uh, we don't really need this guy anymore, so we can invest that into farms if we feel like it. At this point, though, I'm thinking less farms, and I'm thinking more um, saving for a Vengeful. That's really what we need to do right now. All we need to do is make sure that we have enough stuff invested in this guy before we start to sacrifice. Right now, it's pretty simple. We've got our support taken care of. Oh, I never got Homeland Defense. Whoops. I thought I had the Homeland Defense. It was just uh, fourth here. We've got our military invested. I'm just going to leave it as the Mad, because by the time I sell and everything, we've got this guy going. I've got my uh, Magic Monkey already set here, and all we need to do is go for the primary, and I think the best way to do that is usually with just a Moab Dom. You do overkill it by a little bit, but it's just simple and easy, and we got the Moab Dom. So now I have everything that I need to invest into my um, super-powered uh, guy over here. The only thing that we might want to do is we might want to sell some of these farms... Wow, that's a lot of farms he's probably going to absorb there. We're just going to sell those farms because... Nah, I probably should have waited a little bit. Oh, my God. See, I'm making mistakes, guys. I'm trying to talk it out. And I'm making mistakes. We're ready for our Vengeful, and hopefully by that point, we'll have a level 10 overclocked Vengeful Temple. And then we're going to start thinking about doing other things like possibly getting some Paragon Monkeys or some weird crap like that. Okay, guys, I made another mistake. Can't believe I did it. Uh, but I'm going to rebuy this guy. We're going to go for a 
Um, quick perma brew here, and I'm gonna start selling. So we need just a little bit more money invested in here. Uh, we need five hundred thousand dollars, and I need it like right now. The last thing I want to do is I want to wait for this guy, even though it sucks. I don't want to wait, but I pretty much have to wait. Um, we can get our extra money over here. We're gonna overclock this guy again. He's gonna be almost ten times overclocked. We got the money for the true sun god, but again, I want to move my overclock guy out of the range over here because it's just wasted money if I don't. So we go ahead and move this guy kind of off to the corner over here, and hopefully, if all goes well, we've got a legend of the light. We've got an anti balloon. We have. Uh, $50,000 of all five towers invested, well, all four towers invested over here. We're gonna go for it. The true sun god. Hopefully, this turns into a vengeful temple, guys. Let's hope for the best. And there he is. Vengeful temple, baby! Woo! All right, now this is not over, because right now this guy doesn't have cam detection. He's not perma brood or anything like that. So we gotta make sure all that's going to happen. We're gonna go for a call to arms and a homeland defense. We're gonna go for that perma brew. Uh, we got to get this stuff going right now, and we still have to think about, uh, you know, making money. I also want to go for a mad, because I think that's probably one of the best towers for uh, fifth-tier towers that isn't the Vengeful Temple. But first, I want to overclock this guy one last time and get him going. And you can tell, look at that pop count already. I mean, we're doing massive damage, but that's still not great? I mean, I don't know how else to put it. It's like, it's good, but it's not great. This guy is still tough. All right, we got reinforced bads up in here. We're just going to use our ability. Let's go for it. Take these guys down and get it going. It seems like the Vengeful Temple, basically by himself, can kind of take this guy down. Now, I want to actually reinvest just a little bit of my money back into farms here. I don't want to go crazy with it. I feel pretty confident that just these few towers should be able to take this guy down, especially if I, could, if I continue with the uh, overclocks. And the homeland defenses. In fact, what I'm going to do is because I just want to power up one tower a lot, we can go for a call to arms in addition. And that'll actually be a little bit better for, uh, you know, keeping these guys consistently powered up. All right, we've got our mad over here. Uh, let's click this guy first, and then we're going to go for the homeland defense right after that. I do have a pretty significant amount of money. I think I'm going to start preparing for my next temple over here. But we have to be very careful. We do not want to absorb the wrong things with our temple. So he's about halfway dead and definitely not halfway through the map. So I'm pretty confident we are going to take this guy down. But already, tier 5 is going to start coming out right after that. So what I want to do is I'm going to build a uh, dart monkey in the back over here. And I'm going to try to go for a paragon monkey, man. I think that's what we got to do. Let's try him out. Crossbow master. Let's get him going in here. We're going to go for a decent amount of uh, dart monkeys invested. But probably not the full 250k. I don't know what I want to get, but... Just a, a decent amount. Let's power this guy up. Get this guy going. Let's go for the mad in addition. Look at that. Oh, he's down to 2 million health already. Oh, my God. That's fantastic. But don't forget, even though we're doing good against the 8 million health guy, the next one's going to have 40 million health. That, no matter who you are, is not going to be an easy breezy cover girl kind of moment over here. You're going to have to pull off some magical, majestic kind of plays over here, guys, if you want this to work. All right, I am going to get rid of this guy for now. And we are going to take down Blinarius Tier 4. We've got 12 more rounds to go. And uh, let's play it by ear and see what we can do. Look at that, 200 monkey money. Beautiful. And we get this extra uh, super monkey and this extra engineer here. Nice. So next thing I'm going to do is we're going to spend about 250k here. So if I remember correctly, it's about 30 monkeys. So 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 13. We're also going to go for a... Why did I put this guy in the back back there? He's only got 20 on these We're going to sell that guy. We're going to go for him up here. It's not going to be that many pops, but at least it'll be something. If we can get a Paragon level of like 30 or 35 or something like that, that would be more than sufficient for me. So let's get the Ultra Jug. And let's get that Plasma Monkey Fan Club as well. And now we're going to spend about 250k in these guys, which, like I said, it was about uh, about 30 monkeys. So 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 13, 15, 15 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. All right, guys, we got one more round to the boss balloon. I just wanted to talk to you guys about my basic idea here and what I've got in addition. I'm getting ready to build one more temple over in this corner. I'm going to get ready to build a Apex Plasma Master up in the... I think I'm actually going to build it... I think I'm gonna actually sell. Yeah, I got 2,000 pops. I'm gonna build my Apex Plasma Master down here. He's got a pretty good amount of range. I want to keep him kind of far in the back if I can. 
So let's get that Ultra Jug right there. I do think I have enough money to make this all happen. So let's go, baby. We're going to sell everything except for my last village over here and see what we can do. First of all, Apex Plasma Master. Let's go. Do it. There he is, Apex Plasma Master. Next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna go for this Sun Temple down here. And we're gonna get that super range and that epic range right after that. We are getting powered up by the temple. We're gonna power this guy up a little bit. And I'm gonna end up going for uh, super powered Vengeful as soon as I possibly can over here. In addition, every single ability that you've got, guys, press that button and make it happen. We're already two million health deep already, boys, on just the first round. We are doing fantastic work right now. All right, keep it up, keep it going. And uh, I think what I gotta do is instead I gotta keep on powering up my Vengeful Temple. I'm thinking about overclocking other things. I don't think it's worth this at this point. I think it's best to just keep overcharging and overclocking that guy. I still have $137,000 at this point, but honestly, I don't truly know what to spend it on. I don't know if the Grand Sabotage is gonna affect any of these guys. I think uh, it's almost unworth it to go for too many weird towers. So we're gonna go for a quick primary uh, spike in the back and a quick if I could afford it, super mines in the back once I can afford it, and just worry about using my abilities properly. All right, this is the first set of balloons coming out right now, and we've got reinforced bats coming out as per usual. Okay, we're kind of used to that here. We're gonna do this. We're gonna use the glue storm. We're gonna overclock this guy. Just throw out those missiles. I think that's honestly still one of the best ways to do damage here is using all those abilities all at once. All right, 33 million, going strong right now. Let's see what this sabotage does, baby. Keep him coming, keep him coming. He's still only, I would say, 1A through the map, but we're already almost done with one-fourth of his health. I think things are going good. $164,000, let's just spend it on these super mines. I honestly don't know if that's the best play here. Probably another temple is the best play, but... You know, what are you going to do? This is what we're going to do, guys. Check this out. We're going to go Glue Storm, Homeland Defense. Uh, we're going to shoot these missiles as well. I'm gonna, Oh, he doesn't have powerful darts. I never got that upgrade. That was silly of me. I'm going to overclock whoever we can overclock here. These bad balloons popping out all the way over here, man. Feels the, oh, is he already over there? Holy crap, he is in the middle of the map right now. Oh, my God, this is a lot scarier than I thought. All right, Blinks, let's go, baby. Do me up, do me hard. I want to try to balloon sabotage the bads that are going to pop out of this next set here. I want to see if that's going to do anything. I'm honestly not sure if that's going to do anything, though. All right, here's a glue storm again. I'm not sure if this does damage. If somebody wants to tell me, feel free, let me know. All right, so we're going to do this. Ready? Homeland defense is four and six is what we want to do. And then I'm going to press... I think we have to manually press that uh, balloon sabotage, though. So here's... Um, let's overclock this guy. Let's go four and six. And... Oh, my God. Look at that. We're barely doing any damage, bro. Oh, I never hit the button. Oh! I got to press four. Blue storm. And then we're going to balloon sabotage these balloons. Let's see if they come out half health. I don't even know. It's so hard to see what's going on right now. It's so hard to see what's going on right here. <gasps> we did something bad. We did something bad. Oh my goodness. We did something really bad. I think we did something absolutely horrible, guys. I think we forgot. I think we accidentally absorbed my permabrew, and now I'm not permabrewing everybody. I was, I did have permabrew ready to go, and now it's not here. All right, as many MOA missiles as I can get. And that does do significant damage, but it's not insane either. We're still not even halfway done with this guy. Holy crap. All right, we're going to grab a couple more towers in here. If we can get them, we use them. That's the way the cookie crumbles, guys. All right, keep them up. All right, let's try that sabotage again. Whether or not it works, I don't know. All right, got to focus on these abilities. That's the hard part, guys. Getting, getting every single ability used every single time. Glue it up. Let's just use Ben's ability just because. Where's the Lord Phoenix? Go ahead, pop it out. We're down to 18 million health right now. He's right in the middle of my Storm of Doom. Oh, yeah. What the heck? 
Well, I was, why did he stop shooting for a second? I didn't like that. I don't like that at all when things like that happen. You're in my storm of doom right now, my friend. Got a 16 million health right now. All right, let's go for another. If we can afford it, we're going to go for another random ability here. Everything's about abilities at this point. Shattering Cells and Bloom Cineration. Glue Storm ability, health. I can't even tell what the heck's going on right now. My Mad is not aiming very well either. 13 million. Keep that temple powered up. We've got 12 million health left. We're just about to get to a quarter of his health, and he is near the end of the map already. This is going to be the tightest battle probably of my entire life, guys. I don't know if I've ever done anything tighter than this. All right. Whoa. My problem is having to click abilities because I cannot hit the numbers at the right time. Again, our temple stopped attacking for no reason. Stop not attacking. All right, we're going to go for another engineer over here. I want to keep this guy overclocked literally all the time. It's, it's down to that. Get it overclocked all the time. Click buttons. All right. We've got nine more rounds to beat it, so the rounds are not going to be the issue here. That's for sure. It's all going to be about can we do that damage and can we kill those random bad balloons that are going to be flopping out of our uh, our defense over here. Power this guy up. Let's get that mad powered up again. Uh, glue Storm again. Unsure if that's doing anything too crazy here. Down below 7.5 million health right now. Oh, man. This is so close. 7 million health. He's about to pop out his last set of bads, though. Keep this guy overclocked. Yeah, if you keep that temple overclocked, it's really, really, really good. Oh, yes, it's amazing. All right, another set of mad storms. I might have done it a little bit too early here, but I can pop this guy out and get some extra damage in here. We're going to try to throw this guy out again. Unsure if it's actually going to work in time. All right, everything popping out. Last set of bads. If we take down this last set of bads, I'm feeling decently confident that we can take these guys down. Oh, oh. Stop not attacking, you silly blutes. Oh, you silly monkeys. They're not attacking for no reason sometimes, and it scares the crap out of me. Oh, my goodness. All right, three million health. That's like the power of the, what, third tier uh, guy over there. Wizard Lord Phoenix to finish this guy off. He's getting to the very, very end here, though. Oh, my God. Power him up. Power him up. 2.5 million. Come on. All right, Homeland TV. Oh, my God. Those mobs are scaring the crap out of me, man. It looks like there's a walking through our defense is the problem. 1.8 million. I know I'm counting it down, but every single thing is going to matter here, guys. All right, power this guy up. This could be our last power up that we get. Less than a million. Less than a million. 700,000. I think we're going to do it, boys. I think we're going to do it. Power us up one last time. 200,000. And we have just taken down the Elite Blunarius. Tier 5, baby. Woo! It took a Vengeful. It took a Paragon Monkey. It took every single ounce of monkey knowledge and power that comes out of my brain right here. But we've done it, guys. Blunarius Swamp Icon. 250 money. 70 trophies. And some awesome crap right here. Thank you so much for watching. If you guys haven't pressed that like button yet, pretty, pretty please do that. That was seriously scary as crap. Um, unbelievable, unbelievable, unbelievable. And then you just play again. That's it. <laughs> it's, just, it's just over. Thanks for watching, guys, and have a super duper delicious day.